Hey guys, welcome back to my another video. Uh, in the last video, I have created the signal for our primitive types. So in this video, I'm going to create a signal for our object. So as we know, the signal is basically the state uh, where we can keep track of it, what's really going on in the whole in application label. So that's how the state is. And so now let's go and create a signal for our object type. So for this signal, I'm going to create something called cards. And maybe inside the cards, we have some uh, items, right? That's what we're gonna create it. So for that one, let me create first uh, the interface of it. So something will, I'm going to create something called cards, so we will know what's going to be inside the cards. We'll create something called item, and item is going to be added. So what would be the item? So I'll create another interface for item, and this is going to be I item of it. And I item maybe we'll create a name of the item. What would be the? Which is going to be a string of it, and we'll create something called price, which is going to be number of it. Num number of it, and then otherwise we create a quantity. How many of the quantity of the price would be ordered? So basically, the, this would be the array of array of what array of i item right so we're going to create something called i card signal so for this card so we're going to create something called a writable signal so we'll set something called a writable uh writable signal uh, and in the writable signal is basically the i card and we declare something called signal here and in a signal one uh we will uh, tell that okay this is going to be i card and here in the function now we have to tell the the item is basically the empty okay so this is how the, our signal is created for the card so if i print this signal in a card here so basically i'm going to type here the card and this is my signal of the card as we know in a signal we will have to create something called in it parentheses otherwise it will not work you know it will give you your functions but it will, it will not work so whenever we create a signal we have to declare as a uh, parentheses here so this is our card and our card will be here card will be object by object this is my object so if i printed this object as a json then we will see as a json of this object which basically is going to be the items of the empty that's it that's what we see here so to work with the json we need to use a common model so i have already imported a common model here so that's how the, the uh, our object of this signal is been created now let's uh, if i click some button then we want to push something into the uh, our uh, container here basically the item we want to add some more item into our cart that's what we're going to do so for this one so now let's create some button here so for this one i'm going to create one button and it's basically i have to using the uh ng prime here so i'll just use p button here so basically we're going to use going to be add item basically we're adding an item one it's very straightforward and it's just a click function and we are adding the add item okay we haven't created this function yet but we're gonna create this event or function here so we are creating the add event so whenever we add the event now let's push something into the our item card okay that's what we're gonna do uh, let me put this as a line break here as well multiple times maybe two times so we can see the other uh, card is here okay so whenever we click the button then we're gonna uh, push the the item into our array we are adding the more item so what kind of item we are adding it so now first thing to add the item this is a signal so we need to update this one the card to update it basically we can use the uh, our update function so in the card we have a uh, sorry in signal we have an update function in the, in the update we'll get the previous state of it and previous is basically the i card of it yeah so once we get the previous state now we could able to update it but we only want to update it in our items we don't want to update uh, sorry it in array we need to push inside this one so for this one what we can do is we can return the uh, same one which is basically we can return the uh, items so in uh, in an item now we need to push it up to so push it up we need to get the previous of it right we need to get the previous item of it so for a previous one we will get using the the previous state and the state has an item and now we are pushing the new one so what would be the new new object of it the new object is basically this guy and here maybe we're going to put something called we are ordering a dumpling let's eat dumpling the price is 10 and the quantity is one and it shouldn't be this it should be a comma here so that's how we are updating our state here so now whenever i click it now it's adding a dumpling with the price quantity if i adding it i was going to, going to keep adding in our state uh, sorry in our signal so it's keep adding it adding and adding it. that's how we can easily add it guys that's how we are updating our card well now we want to compute uh, how many of this quantity is being ordered how many of this uh, 
uh, the, the price is total price is going to be so for that one we'll use something called the total we'll create something called total and total is going to be a uh, computed and compute computed uh, computed is also coming from the angular uh, core and it's a part of the uh, signal so whenever the signal has been changed sorry if whenever the signal has been changed yes the computer will be triggered and we want to uh, when initiate it into our total that's what is the computed is so now in the computed one so we really want to compute it our item of it so what we're going to do is on this one we'll get the card in a card so basically we, what we have in inside the card is we have an item right oops in, inside the cards we have an item basically now this is a, this is going to be our array so if i print this total uh which is going to be let's say the we want to print a total here and this is our going to be our total so if i save it now the our total will be the empty for now so if i do it's going to be array whenever i click this one it's going to be third fourth fifth sixth right because as we know this is the array uh what we are uh, uh, showing in our total but we don't want this array we want to compute the price so basically the total is going to be the price multiplied by quantity and in the summation of, of everything that's what it is so how are we going to do in in the in the in the array uh, we could able to use the the reduce functions which we have already into our javascript and in a reduce one we'll we'll get a total and total would be a number and and we'll get the item basically the item is going to be i item and in i item we'll use arrow, arrow function and in arrow functions we'll use a total basically plus so now we are getting the item of it and now we need the quantity multiplied by item multiplied by price and the initiated value of the reduce will be zero that's what is going to be now let's see what's really going on here something is wrong so we need to fix it up uh, price multiplied by quantity into a total and uh, the reduce functions would be started here oh sorry not here should be here zero and that's what it is yep so here in the reduce function so basically uh, we are getting the uh, total and the item and total would be starting from zero this will be a zero so the total plus going to be item uh, quantity multiplied by item price so whenever item quantity multiplied by item price is going to be your total so this is our computed value so whenever i click the button it will be a 10 because 10 multiplied by 1 is 10 of course it's going to be 10 by 120 so total total is going to be 20 30 40 50 60 something like that yeah so whenever i click the add button we are keep adding our the the, the the item and our total will be changes that's how the computer would work and that's how the item is updating here if we want to use a set basically it's going to override all our signals but we don't want to do a set we want to use update so that's how the we can be able to use update here that's how we can able to use our computer and of course uh if you want to keep track of it really what's going on yes we could also able to use our the effect function so if i use the effect here and inside the effect we could able to console log and in and if you want to see what's really going on in our cards then we can able to see uh sorry that's as a function card we need to use as a function because this is a signal otherwise it's going to give you a, a function here so here we see the area of one so if i click that now it's going to be area of one here it was going to be dumbling of it sorry here area of zero first and now area of one area of two three four five something like that so it's going to keep track of it here is dumbling is keep adding it and we already know the total of it using the our compute function so that's a very basic that's what, how, how we can uh, set our uh, signals or create our signal use uh, for the object one and i hope you guys learned something new and please let me know if you guys have any questions and thank you very much for watching this video bye for now